hey guys it's me Tolhain. in this video i will be sharing with you some tips and tricks about creating decorative stairs in revit and i am going to be showing you how to cover up the bottom part of the stairs in revit now if you are interested in learning advanced 3d modeling in revit you can check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and uh, to get my revit project files you can check out my patreon the links are in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and first let's go here and select stair and i'm going to select this spiral one and then let's click edit type and here i'm going to reduce the riser height let's try six inches and 11 inches depth uh, thread depth should work fine let's click ok and then i'm just going to increase the run width or the width of the stairs let's try three foot six inches and then i'm just going to create a staircase in the center here like so now if i go to 3d so you got something like this now the first thing which i'm going to do here is changing the height of the stringers let's select the stringer and then edit type here we have total depth let's increase that let's try three feet and hit apply there we go we got this uh, railing here or maybe let's increase the depth a little bit let's try three feet six inches and then hit ok there we go so we got our staircase ready here now let's quickly fix this part i will show you how you can cover up this bottom uh, part of this of the staircase let's click uh, finish here first and we'll be using in place mass to cover up this part but before that let's quickly delete the railings perfect now i'm going to go to massing inside and first let's turn on uh, mass by clicking here and then click in place mass click ok and we'll be using spline through points to create the spline uh, following the following this spiral staircase so let's go here and select spline through points and then i'm just going to add points to the edge of this uh, stringer let's change the visual style to a hidden line so we can see perfect now we want to create the same spline uh, on this side as well on this stringer let's quickly do that just make sure you are creating these points close to each other so we can create a perfect spline following this stringer so i have finished adding the spline on this stringer as well now we can just select both of these just select both of these splines and then we can go here and click create form there we go we have covered up that part now let's click finish mass here and to make it solid we can use wall by face let's select wall by face from this drop down and first we'll create a thin wall so let's click duplicate and i'm just going to call it generic one inch let's click ok edit type and let's put the thickness one inch and then click ok ok again and we can just select this mass let's change the visual style to hidden line then we can just select this mass there we go now here i think we need to flip this wall face so for that we can just select this wall again and we'll get this location line here let's click it and select finish face interior there we go it's looking a lot better now let's quickly hide mass and that's how you create this kind of cool looking decorative staircase in revit of course you can apply the materials as you wish 
so that is it for this video i hope this quick video was helpful to you so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to get my revit advanced courses you can check out my website learnrevitonline.com and to download my project files you can get them from my patreon the links are in the description and yeah i will see you guys in the next video